Noruz is a holiday few in the West know. However, in Asia, Noruz is a celebration many wait for all year. Today, we will talk about its origins and traditions, as well as regional differences. Hello, I am your host David, and this is Eurasia. Without further ado, let's talk about Noruz right now. Noruz is originally a Persian holiday that originates in ancient times even before Zoroastrianism was practiced in Persia. Some say the holiday is 15,000 years old, though most agree on the still staggering birth date of about 10,000 years ago. Though there are many supposed origin stories in Persian mythology, many will say that the prevailing myth is that before Noruz, seasons were not set and the weather could change at any moment. However, after prophets told the Persian king that a brutal snowstorm was coming, the king turned the weather into four predictable seasons, with the start of spring starting the new year, or, as new year translates into Persian, Noruz. Yet, as Zoroastrianism became the religion of Persia, Noruz was adopted as the holiest day of the year, as it is the day Zoroaster created Earth. Because of its holiness, the celebration, though the first day is the most important, would often carry on for a week or two. This is still true today. When the Islamic Caliphates took over Persia in the 7th century, they did not specifically try to remove Noruz from the Persian culture. In fact, many later Caliphs emphasized its importance. Nonetheless, even with the Caliphate's collapse, Noruz transitioned to a holy day in Islam for the Persian people. However, Noruz's history had only just started. After the collapse of the original caliphates and the ones that ensued afterwards, the role of Noruz in Islam in Persia was emphasized. However, when the Mongols arrived in the 13th century, Noruz was at first discouraged or even punished. Yet, as the Mongols' rule began to weaken and the empire crumbled, the successor to the original Mongol Khanate, the Ilkhanate, would ecstatically embrace Noruz in its entire territory. Due to this, Noruz spread into many of the Turkic tribes to the north and east, the people of the Caucasus, and even some other specific ethnic groups such as the Kurds and Baluchis. Thanks to the Ilkhanate, Noruz was no longer a Persian holiday, but rather a holiday celebrated across the Asian continent. Today, even more people groups celebrate Noruz than during the Ilkhanate, Specifically, there are many groups in southern Russia today who celebrate Noruz as well. To add to this, after the fall of the Soviet Union, all former Soviet Central Asian and Caucasus countries declared Noruz a national holiday. Now, it is just as much a staple of these countries' celebrations as it is a celebration in Iran. Yet, though the name has not changed, there are some considerable differences in how it is practiced across the globe. In Iran, where Noruz is most known to be practiced, the first day is marked by, among many other things, reading the Quran, singing and dancing, and spending time with close family. Iranians also make a table set called a haftsin. This has many things that families themselves choose to put on them, but the seven essential foods to have in dishes are wheatgrass, a Persian sweet pudding, a Persian fruit, vinegar, apples, garlic, and sumac. These are said to represent the birth of a new year, but most families put other things on the half scene, such as candles, painted eggs, goldfish, coins, and many other things that symbolize the beauty of the coming year. Also, nearly all Iranian families place Qurans on the half scene. Iranians will also fervently clean their homes during this time. This is actually said to be the root of spring cleaning that many Westerners do as well. Iranians will usually visit relatives, friends, and neighbors for the entire celebration. It is believed that what a person does during Noruz will be their fate for the rest of the year, so many become very happy and outwardly pleasant to be with. This also applies to the religious aspect of the celebration. Many will become more religious during this time while also withholding much of their sinful behavior. Very similar to Lent for Christians, it is normal for those celebrating to promise to give up sinful behavior starting on Noruz. Though the celebration can last many weeks, the official length of Noruz is 12 days. After this, 
work and other duties will resume in Iran. These traditions are very similar in most of the world. Most of the people that practice Noruz will visit relatives, clean their houses, read the Quran, and prepare a hafsin, for example. Yet, there is also much that is different. Afghans practice Noruz with great passion. In the Afghan city of Mazari Sharif, red flowers blossom all over the fields, and many Afghans come to eat and enjoy the views of the city. Also in Afghanistan, farmers who work in the countryside will usually spend a few days in the cities where there are parades for them in order to celebrate their hard work. The planting season usually begins right after the celebrations. On top of this, the very popular sport of buskazi is played not only in Mazari Sharif, but also in all of Afghanistan as well as Central Asia. As it is one of the most important holidays, if not the most important, in many Central Asian and Caucasus countries, many of the cultures choose to add their own culture's modifications into the holiday, including traditional dancing, foods, and attire. Nonetheless, though originally a Persian holiday, Noruz is celebrated officially in 13 countries while being celebrated unofficially in nearly all Eurasian states today. All in all, it is a time for those who practice it to celebrate and enjoy life with their friends, family, and neighbors, as well as praise God and remember their heritage and culture. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click the like button and subscribe as well. Happy Noruz to all who celebrate it, and until next time, stay happy, stay humble, stay hopeful, and goodbye.